when I teach students this drum stuff and I give them an exercise, they start feeling something in their hands that they didn't feel before. And so a, a behavior of rhythm takes over. And that's what a touch means. It doesn't mean the, technically a touch on it like the way the classical music is taught. What I had on the board was touch, time, tone, technique, and taste. That's what comes out of the drum. And so it's not just touch, it's the time conception is entirely different. So that affects your touch. And so what students usually experience when they learn this drum uh, technique and then they uh, play the exercises I give them is the piano starts to behave a certain way that wasn't there before. Accents start jumping off in places that they didn't experience before. Uh, rhythms start to develop and that thing we talked about ontology takes over. And so this music does not come from the mind. The mind is not involved in this music. It's way behind the mind. It's another kind of consciousness. Uh, you'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit about, uh, about that later. With the time conception, uh, back in the bebop era, Mary Lou Williams wrote this tune called The Land of Ubla D. And she had something specific in mind when she said that because it's another, like a Andrew was saying, another state of consciousness. And the music actually comes from that place. And so that place is not involved with the mind, it's not involved with thinking, it's way beyond the mind. So you plug, that's what, uh, uh, when I say plugged into a place, what that Dizzy say, if the music says go over there, you go where it takes you. Or Dizzy say, this music is out here waiting for somebody to get it. He's talking about being plugged into a place. <laughs> 